Hi, my name is Imogen. I'm 19 years old and I'm currently on a gap year. Since lockdown began, I have read so many books and I literally did not read at all for pleasure in school. I barely read at all on my gap year. So I don't know where this sudden transformation has come from, but I thought it'd be a really interesting topic to make a video on. So here I have just some of the books that I've read during lockdown. I actually prefer reading on my Kindle because you can like press down on the words and find out what they mean because the dictionary is all built in. But I do actually read some, what are these called? Print books as well. So the first book that I want to talk to you about is Jessica Ennis's Unbelievable. I think this came out in like 2012. I think it's quite old, but I found it on the bookshelf and thought that would be fun to read. So I started reading it and I absolutely loved it. I actually read this book in a day. It is so accessible for people who aren't interested in like athletics or anything like that. Um, it's just a really, really easy read, suitable for anybody of all ages. So yeah, and I really enjoyed this. And a little bonus with this book is that it actually has pictures in and we all know that I'm five at heart. So I absolutely love a picture book. And the next book I read was Stacey Dooley's On the Front Line with Women Who Fight Back. I have absolutely love Stacey Dooley. I watch loads of her documentaries on BBC iPlayer and I really liked this book because it talks through all of the different documentaries she's made and it brings it all together. But if you haven't actually watched them, like I hadn't watched one of them, but I really liked the sound of it from the book. So I went and watched them. It's really good for finding inspiration on her books. Um, the only thing I would say with this is I did really enjoy it, but I found it wasn't like one to read before bed because some of the stories in there can be of quite a sensitive nature and quite harrowing really. So definitely read this one during the day and have a nice little fiction book on the go for nighttime. In this book reviews video, I was really keen to not just include the books that I've really enjoyed, but also the ones I haven't enjoyed as much because you can't have the good without the bad. So one book which I read, which I just wasn't as keen on, was Hillary Clinton's What Happened. Um, one of the things that I found about this book was that you needed quite a lot of like political knowledge to understand it. Now I have A-level politics, so I could get by with most, like I could understand most of it, um, but there were just pages of name dropping and I got confused about the names. I feel like if you were American, maybe this would have been a bit easier to understand, but for me, I just, I just couldn't get on with this book. The other thing was that I didn't find this was a particularly like, empowering book. She talks a lot about feminism things and I really do like books about that, but it just seemed really embittered and it left you feeling a bit like at the end of the day as opposed to like, oh my gosh, it's such a good book. So I have to say me and Hillary's book, we're not best friends, but um, I'm really pleased I read it and I persevered and read the whole book because it's a fat one. However, this really contrasts my next book, which I want to talk to you about, which is Michelle Obama's Becoming. If you have not read this book, literally, where have you been? Like, I felt I was late to the party when reading this, but it is one of my favourite books I've ever read. It talks about, like, behind the scenes of the White House, which is just so, so interesting, I find. It was empowering. It was inspiring. I literally cannot rave about this book enough. But, um, yeah, Michelle Obama, I have so much respect for her already and then reading this book I was like wow I just want to be her so yeah 100% would recommend this book also if you're interested there's a Netflix like docu-film film I don't know what you'd call it but it's all about Michelle Obama's book tour and it's really good to watch either before after or during reading this book the next books that I want to talk about are actually a series and I have read all three of these during lockdown I think there's a fourth actually but I haven't gotten to it yet um, and these are the Call the Midwife books. Now my friends are going to be laughing because I absolutely love Call the Midwife. Like I'm re-watching all nine or ten series, whatever there are. Um, but even if you're not necessarily like watching the TV show or you're not necessarily interested, I would so recommend these books just from a kind of historical point of view. Because if you're interested in like modern history, this tells so much of the story of the social history of Britain and like when things came into play and in my head, I had a kind of timeline of how I thought things had panned out, but this really helped me to understand when things happened and the impact that it had on people in Britain, particularly in like my grandparents' generation. I would so recommend these books. Like, I'm not the biggest like fan of history or anything, but I do find that these books are super, super interesting. And yeah, would definitely recommend these. And my final book recommendation, you'll just have to imagine because I actually read this on the Kindle, so I don't have a physical copy of the book. Hopefully I'll put a picture on screen now, but the book is Adam Kay's This Is Going To Hurt. It is such a funny book and it is so important to read, to understand what 
being a junior doctor in the UK is like at the moment. That is whether you're into medicine or whether you're not interested at all, it's such an important book to read. It tells the story of the life of a junior doctor in a funny but actually really, really important way. I have also read the second book in the series, The Night Shift Before Christmas. I wasn't quite as impressed by that. It felt a bit like it was being like spun onto another book when there wasn't necessarily that much content there. But the first one is a must read. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up and do leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favourite lockdown book has been or your favourite book generally is. Have a lovely day and I will see you next time with a new video.